Welcome to Snack Size Scripture where you can a portion of the Bible that is easy to digest. Genesis 7, 1-24 1. The Lord then said to Noah, Go into the ark, you and your whole family, because I have found you righteous in this generation. 2. Take with you seven pairs of every kind of clean animal, a male and its mate, and one pair of every kind of unclean animal, a male and its mate. 3. And also seven pairs of every kind of bird, male and female, to keep their various kinds alive throughout the earth. 4. Seven days from now, I will send rain on the earth for forty days and forty nights, and I will wipe from the face of the earth every living creature I have made. 5. And Noah did all that the Lord commanded him. 6. Noah was six hundred years old when the floodwaters came on the earth. 7. And Noah and his sons and his wife and his sons' wives entered the ark to escape the waters of the flood. 8. Pairs of clean and unclean animals, of birds and of all creatures that move along the ground. 9. Male and female came to Noah and entered the ark, as God had commanded Noah. 10. And after the seven days the floodwaters came on the earth. 11. In the six hundredth year of Noah's life, on the seventeenth day of the second month, on that day all the springs of the great deep burst forth, and the floodgates of the heavens were opened. 12. And rain fell on the earth forty days and forty nights. 13. On that very day Noah and his sons, Shem, Ham, and Japheth, together with his wife and the wives of his three sons, entered the ark. 14. They had with them every wild animal according to its kind, all livestock according to their kinds, every creature that moves along the ground according to its kind, and every bird according to its kind, everything with wings. 15. Pairs of all creatures that have the breath of life in them came to Noah and entered the ark. 16. The animals going in were male and female of every living thing, as God had commanded Noah. Then the Lord shut him in. 17. For forty days the flood kept coming on the earth, and as the waters increased they lifted the ark high above the earth. 18. The waters rose and increased greatly on the earth, and the ark floated on the surface of the water. 19. They rose greatly on the earth, and all the high mountains under the entire heavens were covered. 20. The waters rose and covered the mountains to a depth of more than fifteen cubits. 21. Every living thing that moved on land perished, birds, livestock, wild animals, all the creatures that swarm over the earth, and all mankind. 22. Everything on dry land that had the breath of life in its nostrils died. 23. Every living thing on the face of the earth was wiped out. People and animals and the creatures that move along the ground and the birds were wiped from the earth. Only Noah was left, and those with him in the ark. 24. The waters flooded the earth for a hundred and fifty days. I would like to take a moment to ask you to like, comment, and follow, so I can grow my channel and these videos can reach more people like you. Thank you. It really means a lot to me. Points to consider. Can you imagine being Noah? One day he is going about his business and then unexpectedly God comes to him with the disturbing news that everything he knows and everyone he knows are going to be swept away in a world-altering flood. Not only that but God sets him the gargantuan task of building the ark and the responsibility of the caring for the animals and his probably anxious and scared family. I am sure Noah was very shocked and nervous about the whole news, but he agreed to do what God asked. Noah had faith that God would help him and keep he and his family. When I am going through tough times where I need to have hope, I often think of Noah. He is such a notable example of strength in the face of momentous change and his ability to have faith that God would keep him safe it truly inspiring. Worthy mention. In the times of Noah God granted us much longer lives. Can you imagine being 600 years old and having to undertake this task? For 140 days everyone in that ark would have had to wake up and reignite their faith that the flood waters surrounding them would go down just as God had promised. That is a lot of days to keep that type of hope going and I am sure they all would have had their good and bad days as they saw the waters swallow up everything they had ever known. All the life around them dying should have been enough to quell their faith in God, but it wasn't. They had faith and trust in God and God knew this. That was why he chose Noah and his family to continue the human race. Take inspiration from Noah and his family. 
They truly are a testament to what faith looks like in the face of fear and severe change. Thank you for watching. God bless you and I will see you in the next video.